Okay, initially it's got some temperature T initial. Finally, it's got some temperature T final. Now, it actually turns out that, that between this state and this state, getting from one to the other, the temperature isn't well defined as temperature is an equilibrium property of a gas. If a gas is not at equilibrium, then we can't define a temperature for that gas as a whole. And likewise, we can't actually plot this on a PV plot. So initially, we have a state with half the final volume and a certain pressure. And then at the end, we've got half the pressure and double the volume, but we can't join these by any line on a PV plot because PV plots represent gases which are in equilibrium. And this is not in equilibrium when it's going from one to the other. So what we can say is that the initial temperature is equal to the final temperature. That's because we know that the change in internal energy is equal to zero because the work done on it is equal to zero and no heat is entering it. And so since there's no work done it on it and no heat entering it, the internal energy hasn't changed. So the initial temperature and the final temperature are the same, but the temperatures in between these two states are not well defined. So let's have a look at engines because these have slightly more interesting adiabatic expansion and compressions in them. So we're going to look at a gasoline or diesel engine. They work in a very similar way. It's just exactly when the fuel is injected that is a little bit different and the fuel itself. So this engine has four strokes. Initially we have the fuel or in the case of diesel just the air injected into the chamber. This has a constant pressure because it's got the same pressure as just outside the valve. After that, so this is the intake stroke. After the intake stroke, in which the volume increases, the volumes then compress. The valves are closed so that the gas cannot escape. This happens very quickly, so this is actually an adiabatic compression. At this point, in a diesel engine, the fuel is injected and it's at a very high temperature. In a gasoline engine, a spark is ignited. And this causes the pressure to increase very rapidly, while the volume's held constant because the piston's in the same place. As soon as that's happened, the gas expands quickly. So again, this is an adiabatic process because it's so quick. And this is where we actually get the work done by the engine. So this is an expansion and it's adiabatic. At that point, the exhaust valves open and so the pressure drops to the external pressure and the cylinders then compressed again in order to get rid of all the excess gas inside the cylinder. The engine has four strokes to ensure that one of those pistons is always undergoing the expansion, i.e. one of them can always provide the work to keep the shaft turning.